Thanks for joining me today on Sew With Me Sunday. I'm Bridget O'Flaherty and um, today I'm going to talk to you about felting. I did some of my felted pieces and I'm going to show you my process of how I do those. And I've also been working on the landscape that I started last week and uh, in, uh, in episode four you can take a look back at that and I uh, am working on the tree today and filling in the details on that. But before I get to that I'm going to talk to you outside with the Eco Minute. So this is the Eco Minute. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is where I talk to you about sustainability and the environment and, uh, and nature. Today I wanted to talk to you about nature and as you can see behind me I live on this property with this amazing marshland and in that marshland we have several species of turtles. We've got Blandings turtles, Snapping turtles, Painted turtles and the Eastern Box turtle that we've been able to see. Um, in Ontario all of these turtles are actually uh, their numbers are threatened and they're li listed as species at risk. So I wanted to talk to you about your driving habits and when you're driving along and you see a turtle in the middle of the road, um, don't drive over it. <laughs> if you can go around it and avoid it safely, uh, please do so. I'm not necessarily advocating stopping and getting turtles across the road or off the road because that could actually put your life in danger. So I'm not really um, advocating that. But if you can avoid hitting the turtle, then please avoid hitting the turtle. So if you're out on the roads in Eastern Ontario and you see a turtle on the road, please be safe, drive safe and avoid the turtles. Instead of doing Sew With Me Sunday, I'm actually gonna do a Felt With Me Sunday. So I am working on my little felt pieces that I do my embroideries on and I thought I would show you the process that I go through for doing my wet felting. I am I would say almost a beginner really at felting. Um, it's something that I've only started doing in the last few months and uh, so my work is a little bit crude um, but I also like it that way. It's, a, it's organic and it gives me work that I can then then I can do my stitching on and it's a local sustainable product. Comes from a farm across the road. Um, I have my rovings laid out here as you can see and uh, they're into the pieces that I'm going to be making them into. I think I've got 30 little pieces set up here ready to go. So I'm going to show you what I do. Maybe you can tell me if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> okay so what I've got going on here this is bubble wrap um, and I've got towels and I've got plastic underneath to try and soak up some of the water. Um, I have this old curtain a uh, lace curtain that I've had kicking around. Uh, it's got lots of holes in it and I'm able to sort of work the fibers back and forth. I have graded my um, my soap onto this. It's Sunlight Soap. Um, the water is very, very hot. I had to let it cool down a little bit because it was actually burning my hands. And I'm just working the fibers back and forth trying to knit them together into a felted square. Um, and as you can see, it's starting to come together. Um, I need to do a little bit more work because it's still got a bit of pull to it. But, uh, but it's actually doing pretty well for me, for what I want to be able to do with it. Um, it's certainly not refined felting that would be garment worthy. But for what I'm doing, this is perfectly adequate. And I like to try and get them as close to a square as possible. So there you go, here's my little square made out of these little fibers. I'm going to soak it in some hot water now and do a little rinse on the soap. And I might even just do this a second time. I just turn it in the other direction so that I can get it going in both directions and try and keep it as square as possible because that's what I like to work with when I'm doing my embroideries. Here we go. Give it another little rinse. And I have my little square ready for doing some embroidery. And that's it. Now I've got this enormous pile here left to do and uh, as I'm going through I'll show you some more but that's pretty much what I'm doing. 
30 of them to go. one's a little bit more organic around the edges but I don't mind that really I think that that's actually it lends some really interesting um, texture to the final pieces
Thanks for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget to subscribe below. You can find me on social media. I'm on Facebook at EcoThreadArt and I'm on Instagram at EcoThreadArt. You can follow along what I'm doing uh, during the week. And you can see me on my website, www.threadpaintedart.com. Um, hop on over there, check out my blog and see what's going on. I will see you guys next week. Thanks.